Hi folks, uh, Linux Man Cave going a little different today. Somebody wanted me to show them how to make a Ethernet cable. So I've got my cell phone set up and I'm trying to videotape how I make an Ethernet cable. So we've got a piece of cable. On one end it's already got its Ethernet connector as you can see here and let's hold it steady uh, you can kind of see the colors of the cable in there uh, a standard 568 B connector uses orange white orange green white blue blue white green brown white brown and this is the this is what the connector looks like it looks like a big phone jack it's called an RJ45 connector so here we've got uh, our cable, and I'm going to take about an inch and a half of the sheath off. So I've got my trusty little snips that I use right here, and I am going to unsheath this cable. So I'll try to do it out here so you guys can actually see what I do. I kind of make a almost a cut into it. It's not quite a cut. I don't know if you can kind of see that... Uh, right there it actually starts opening the sheath and then you should be able to bend and open it a little bit more and then you can kind of twist it off from there boom there we go now we've got our wire exposed and there's also a little pull string in here and you can trim that away I usually like to get it out of the way see the pull string And sorry about the movement, I'm trying to hold the, uh, the camera, the cell phone camera, while I do this. Okay, so my pull string is out of the way. And now what I usually do is I'll take and separate each one of my four twisted pair. And I'm going to take the first one, which is the orange-white orange pair, and I'll untwist it. I'll straighten out the leads and usually if you just take your thumbs you can actually get them pretty straight. I'll do the green white greens and I'll get those straight. And now remember our wiring diagram goes orange white orange green white and then it goes blue blue white so I want to start lining up my cables. So I've got orange, white, orange, green, white. Now I come to the blue, blue, whites and untwist those. Get them straight. Get them a little bit easier to work with. I'll slide them next to the green, white one. And then remember the green one has to come in after. So we're going to move it around here. And I usually do this to straighten up my cable. I like to keep it all nice and tight together because that's what it's going to end up going into the connector as. And then we do our last pair, which is brown, white, and brown. Now normally for data, all you need is the orange, white, orange, green, white, and green. The other cables that are in there simply don't do anything for standard data transmission. But if you're going to do power over Ethernet, you're going to need to make sure that those are in the correct place as well because that's where the power actually transmits down your Ethernet cable. Okay, so here we are. We're lined up. We're ready to cut. I'm going to go ahead and trim it off. Okay. So now we've got a straight connection or a straight line where we're going to insert our connectors. And now with orange on top and the base, uh, how can we show you this? So with the, with the metal tines down, orange goes in the top. And then you feed the cable in. And then these connectors actually have an opening to where the cable will come out the other side. 
So now I've got extra excess here on the end of my ethernet cable. And now I take my, my crimpers, place my connector inside the crimpers, and press down. All right, and then uh, if you have any little excess, you pick it off there. But now I've got a nice smooth edge on my new ethernet cable connector. And there's my whole new ethernet cable. And I'll probably use this as a little patch panel cable for uh, inside our, our data center here. I don't know if those are going to straighten up and focus for you. If I move it back a little bit. So that's how you make an ethernet.